Welcome to the farm. Welcome to the farm. I'm Justin, and today we're going to do a little more work on Cadence's Playhouse. We're going to start trimming out the windows and installing the windows. Let's get started. So here's the window we got, and I don't know how I did it, but somehow I framed out the opening wrong, and I framed it out one too tall by a couple inches, but that's fine. Once we center the window, the trim will cover that gap. But I also made it a little too tight. And I don't know if it's just the siding or if I misframed the opening, but the good news is all we'll have to do to fix that is just cut a little bit of siding because with the thickness of the siding and the thickness of the trim work, the window's not quite as thick so it won't hit the stud back there anyway and should work out all right. So let's fix this opening. So to fix the opening, all I'm gonna do is draw a plumb line, making the opening a little bit bigger. I'm gonna take my circular saw, I got the blade set to just beyond the depth of the plywood, and I'll just plunge cut my line straight up. And I can just knock out these corners. All right, so now we can go ahead, test our opening, see how our window fits. And we have plenty of room, way more room than we need now, but that's okay, the trim work will make up the rest. So now I think what we can do is start figuring out our trim work Start putting that in. So I got our first 45 miter cut. The window is 25 inches tall. And I think I'm gonna go with a quarter inch gap, which will give me an eighth inch gap all the way around. I'm hoping that'll be enough to let the window swing open. So if that's the case, from the inside corner, I need 25 and a quarter to the other inside corner. All right, there's our first piece. Make another one. So then the window is 20 inches wide, so from inside corner to inside corner, I want to be 20 and a quarter. So we got all four pieces cut, I'm going to start putting the trim on, and I marked the center of my trim board here, and I got the center of my opening, and I'm just going to line those two marks up. I'm going to put a nail here in the middle. And I'm just going to take my level. And plumb that up. And I should be able to just take my top board. Put that right across. Not even close. All right, so that first attempt failed. So we're gonna try this a different way. We'll put the square on here. And we'll line it up like that. Oh. 
I think that's gonna look awesome. Start laying out some hinges. So I think I'm gonna make a mark three inches down on each side. I think that looks like a good spacing to me. And that's where our hinges are gonna line up. So since I have a quarter inch gap, I'm gonna use a saw blade, old used up saw blade as a spacer, because this should be about an eighth of an inch thick where the teeth are. So if I set that down there, and set the window on the teeth. That should give me an eighth inch gap down here, an eighth inch gap on top. All right, so now we got the window installed and working. We're gonna go ahead and put on the latch. I'm gonna start by just kind of lining that up and getting it as centered as I can, evenly spaced as I can. And that's not gonna work, so I gotta move that over. So I gotta set this latch basically right on the edge to get it to reach. Yep, that'll work. There we go. Now I need to put a board in the back there just to hold the window so it sits flush. And I think we might do that real quick, just put a stopper in. All right, so I just had Dana hold the window flush with the trim work, and then I slid this block in behind it, nailed it to the stud. And now, window sits nice and flush there. Looking really good. Easy to latch. The only thing we got left to do is to put our anchor points in for when the window's open. So I'm gonna start by putting the little eyelet down here in the bottom corner of the window. And what I like to do to start it is I just, I run a screw into the wood as my pilot hole, because I don't have drill bits out here and I don't want to walk all the way out and get one. And then I can just turn that right in. And now what I can do is just take my hook, place it in the eyelet, and figure out where I want the hook to be. I think I'm just gonna go right about there, looks pretty good. There we go. So now I'm just gonna repeat that process on the back two windows and I'll catch up with you when it's all done. All right, so I knocked out the two windows on the back of the playhouse. All the latches are in, hooks are working, looking really good. Hi! Cadence is already in there having fun with it. <laughs> I'm pretending this is an airplane. An airplane? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, we're gonna close up the airplane <laughs> and then we're gonna do one more thing yet today. So the last thing I want to try to do is get that window up on the second floor mounted and hung. I already got the trim pieces cut. We won't be able to finish the mechanism that opens and closes the window. I'll have to finish the roof line before I can do that, but if we can at least get the window hung and the latch on the inside so it's kind of sealed off, that'd be a huge step and the windows will be almost done. All right, so this window we're going to do a little bit differently. So she can open it, we're actually gonna hinge it from the top. So I am just gonna line my hinges up with the edge of the vertical boards here. And that's just where I'm gonna place them. Well, I think that's looking really sharp. I'm really excited that we have all the windows on. I cannot wait to see this thing completed with all the trim work, the roof done, the porch done. It's gonna look so awesome. I just wanna say thank you so much for watching 
and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.